what's up all you good people welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Alex I go by the corporate finesse -er, and in today's video I'm gonna show y'all how you can start your own at-home t-shirt business that will bring you in extra money on the side and the products that you can buy to help you get there a little bit faster so without further ado let's just jump right into the video Okay y'all, so now I am behind the camera so I can show you guys all of the items that you can buy to start your business if you're interested. So I'm going to start on this side here. So this is my poly mailer and so these are like the bigger ones. I think they, they look like that. I got these from Amazon so you can get like a set of 25, 50 or 100 whatever you think you'll need. These were like $25 and I got like 50 of them so I have buku tons of poly mailers which is dope i went ahead and purchased these customized frosted mailer bags and i really like them i got them from etsy they took about like a week and a half to come i think they were made like over in china or something but i think i got a hundred of these and so these are great i've got good feedback from my customers that they really like how the packaging looks which makes me happy so right here this is my vinyl cutter and this is called the silhouette cameo I got this from Joann's and I think I paid, let's just say right at $300 for it. Um, it wasn't on sale or anything, so that's just a full price. You can purchase this particular vinyl cutter at Joann's, Michael's, the Silhouette America store, and you can purchase it on Amazon. So you have plenty of options if you're ever interested. I know there are a lot, a lot of people who use Cricut, and I think that is so great. I wanted the Silhouette Cameo because I personally like the features better and so I just felt compelled to just kind of go against what everybody else was using. Another item that's helpful I think when it comes to making sure that your graphics and your words are all like symmetrical is buying like this, it's called like a Mr. T ruler but it's for like t-shirts or things that you're laying flat and you need to just make sure that they're just all like on the same line and whatnot. So I got this from Amazon as well. It's pretty sturdy y'all. So if you get it and you're like, oh, this package is heavy, then that's why. So I don't know what it's made out of though, but it's thick. So the next item is my heat press and I got this from eBay. This was about $2.86. And so there are so many different variations of the heat press. You can either get one that pretty much presses and it lifts up and you press it down. Um, I see a lot of people use those too. Or you can get the swing press, which that's how it works. You swing it away. I think that this is what a lot of people start off with and then once they expand, you know, once the money start coming in, um, you just, you know, you upgrade. I for sure see myself buying a few different other types of heat presses just to see if I like one over the other, but that's in the future. I'll leave the um, link to both of these items below for y'all if you're interested in purchasing something to you know start your business on the other side I have my shirts and my shelving so the shelf right here I got it from Lowe's and I think it was about 19 bucks so just to have some type of structure and have my shirts all in one place I definitely could do a better job with folding but for right there I just have white on the bottom then that's sand olive green black and then I just have honestly these are all shirts that I've made that I've posted to my Etsy shop and I just put them on the very top but I already can tell I need to put them in a different space because it just doesn't look right on the other side here I bought the same type of shelf as for my t-shirts but it's just a little bit wider and I also got this from Lowe's and so that way I put my sweatshirts on here and it's just more room and then I have other items at the bottom that I'll talk about here shortly as well. I purchased all of my, my blank shirts and sweatshirts from Jiffy Shirts and they're also by the brand Gilded. So if you are interested in knowing um, where you can get t-shirts from and how cheap they are, then I highly suggest Jiffy Shirts because it gives you so many options. The next item here is kind of like that item to help you boost your sales faster and so the reason why I say that is because when it comes to adding graphics and just like random clip art that you may not be able to just get just with your vinyl cutter I just suggest investing in a either a laser jet 
or an inkjet printer. I have an inkjet HP. And so I got this from Best Buy. It was about $150, which depending on who you talk to, it could be high or low end. But another item I think that is helpful for um, starting businesses is getting some type of label maker whether it's like Dymo or another brand you can print out your labels for your shipping orders and things like that so highly recommend getting a label maker price I believe this was about 70 bucks on Amazon so and this was one of the lower cost ones just wanted to throw that out there this is just one of the variations of the Dymo label printer Okay y'all, so that's the end of this video. I hope you guys found it helpful as to knowing now what to buy to start your own t-shirt business. If you like videos like this, please let me know and I will keep them coming for you. In the meantime, don't forget to drink your water, mind your business, and always choose yourself first. Thank y'all for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Hey y'all, what's up? Real quick, I wanted to show you guys a closer look of the shirt that I have on today which says trusting God and minding my business in the color white. Um, this shirt is now available on my Etsy shop and I'll leave the link to that below. So feel free to check it out and let me know what you think. Thank you.